So this question says a bricklayer uses the formula N equals 7 L H. So I am going to write that down because out of habit, anytime I see an equation provided, I just like to write it for myself. So this formula N equals 7 L H to estimate the number of bricks in. So here are my bricks needed to build a wall that is L feet long. So this L is in feet and H feet high. So this H is in height. Which of the following correctly expresses L in terms of N and H? Okay, so anytime we see this in terms of, it simply means we want to isolate the variable that comes before the in terms of and by doing so, the other variables will be on the other side of the equal sign. So I have n equals 7 L H, but I want L alone, which means I need to remove 7 and H from the right side of the equation. So how can I do that? So I'm going to just rewrite it again so we don't have those arrows there. But I can divide by 7 H. Doing so allows me to cross out the 7, cross out the H. But if I divide one side by 7h, I have to also divide the other side by 7h. So what I'm left with here is that n divided by 7h is equal to L. Remember, it doesn't matter what side of the equal sign the letter is on. n over 7h equals L is the exact same thing as saying L equals n over 7h. And that being the case, our final answer here, therefore, is choice C.